Hey yo, what is up YouTube? It is your boy Joe K50X. Now, I have some new gameplay for you guys today. Um, I'm actually doing something a little bit different. I haven't actually seen this on YouTube. But um, what I'm doing is, I'm going to be giving you Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 gameplay. Just so I can go through and play as all the characters. And there's still a few I have to unlock because, let's be real, I, I didn't unlock everybody with my wishes. I didn't want to use my wishes to unlock characters. I just thought that was stupid and pointless. Especially if I was never really going to use them. So with that being said, now I have to unlock those characters. But without further ado, here's what we're going to be doing. So since there's a race for each character in the game, and there's a... Um, I guess you can say a tier list for each character in the game. We're going to start off with our Namekians since they're the least amount of any character in, well, the least amount of character in race in game that we have to choose from. So starting off, we're going to have Nell, and um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of do a random battle, and I'm going to talk about the character and how I feel about them and my likes and dislikes about them. So let's go. First off, starting out, when I was a kid, man, I thought Nell was like the coolest Namekian ever. Like the way he stood up the the Frieza, whereas all the other Namekians were treated like insects. Um, I mean, Vegeta just murdered them for shits and giggles to get Dragon Balls. Uh, Frieza's soldiers did what they wanted, and then you had Nell, this one strong Namekian, to stand up to Frieza and try to fight him. Now, granted, <sighs> Nell was shot down very easily, but you got to think about. It. Nell was very powerful for a Namekian. Um, I don't, I don't think we had a power level for him, but Nell had to be at least past uh, ten to twenty thousand when it came to power level. I don't know off the top of my head if he had anything um, like actually scouted out, but um, Nell was just his attitude, his personality. He was so calm and cool. And when when I first saw Nell, I was just like, Yo, this guy is that. He's the coolest Namekian I've ever seen, even though at the time we had only seen Piccolo, Kami, and um, I guess the other small fat Namekians, the pudgy ones, and Dende. I didn't, I didn't, no one cared about them, no one saw them as fighters anyway, they just seemed like normal fat civilians living their life on Namek. But Nell, this Piccolo looking fighter, strong, and he had the guts to stand up to the strongest character we had been introduced to thus far. I don't know if Nail actually knew how powerful Frieza was, and I knew he was doing that by time, but he stood up to this man, and he attempted to fight him, and that took a hell of, cur a, hell of a lot of courage. I mean, Vegeta didn't have the courage to fight Frieza until he had, his balls had got a little bigger, and he thought he was a Super Saiyan. So this guy being a peace-loving Namekian, have the courage to actually try to fight Nail. I mean, fight um, Frieza. It was just astounding to me. But that's enough about Nail. I don't want to toot him up too much. No homo. We're gonna go on to Lord Slug. Now, Lord Slug is probably my favorite Namekian ever introduced in Dragon Ball series. And here's why. Here is why. <sighs> From that movie, we got False Super Saiyan. Now, I, I, me personally, I thought False Super Saiyan was like the dopest thing ever. And um, I actually saw this movie before I saw Goku go Super Saiyan. So I was like, what is this? This is like a mix of Kaioken and, and something else. But I had played the Dragon Ball Z games. So I had saw that, you know, uh, what what is it called? Super Saiyan was a thing. I just hadn't watched it in Dragon Ball Z anime. Because this is back when I was a kid. So when I was a kid, Dragon Ball Z was way ahead of where I was. Um, when I got these tapes and stuff like that, because I got the Lord Slug movie back on VHS when I was like er, eight, nine ish, and so I, I actually had to do a lot of catching up. And so my mom started buying me the the VHS sets with all the Dragon Ball Z episodes from episode one all the way down. I think the last one I had, the last one I got was when Vegeta punched second form cell in the gut. That was the last VHS tape I got for uh, the Dragon Ball series because. I think each tape was an episode only. Yeah, each tape was a single episode. So I had all 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 the episodes up until that point, and um, I had all the movies as well. And so when I first saw this movie, I was like, okay, this is crazy. This is like some King Piccolo type stuff. You got this Namekian who's old and washed up, makes a wish to be young or immortal. Boom, he gets his youth back, and he instantly starts wreaking havoc. Now his crew was weak. His crew was extremely weak, in my opinion. Uh, 
everybody did their due diligence to wipe the floor with him. It pretty much embarrassed them in my opinion. They just straight up destroyed them and <laughs> I, I didn't care for them too much. The most memorable crew member was Metamacho behind you. Like that one scene will stick with me forever. Metamacho behind you! I, I don't know why, but that, that, he's literally the most memorable character. Uh, there was a yellow guy, uh, not a yellow guy, he had white, he was white with like yellow hair and he kind of looked like Jace. Other than that, no one else was that great. But, moving on, back to Lord Slug. Lord Slug was this powerhouse, a monstrous Namekian. And if I had to assume, I would say he was at least second form Frieza level when he came to power. Now that's probably a stretch, that's probably a huge stretch, but if I had to assume, I would say he was second form Frieza level, because you gotta think about it, we don't know the power bonus that um, enraged Goku got when he went Pseudo Super Saiyan or False Super Saiyan, it was just crazy, like, we never, s the way Goku ran up this man's arm to stick him in his face, that was just, that was, that was like, what, I wanna run like that when I get older, even though that never happened, but. It was just dope to see. He gave me that probably one of my favorite Dragon Ball Z movies next to Broly and um, uh, which one was it? The one with Garlic. Garlic Jr. That one. I like that one. <sighs> Lord Slug was literally probably, yeah, he, Lord Slug was my favorite to make it. I'm, I know I'm kind of rambling on about it a bit, but that movie was just amazing. The way they had to defeat him, everything they had to go through just to defeat him, it showed that he was truly a formidable opponent and he deserved some respect. Now, lastly, Piccolo. Piccolo. I never cared about Piccolo, and let's be honest. Piccolo was kind of like that, that dad in the background trying to tell you what to do type of character. He was smart. I respect that. He was a great fighter. I respect that. He was a smart fighter. I respect that. But Piccolo just always seemed annoying to me, and that could just be me. My favorite and most memorable moment with Piccolo is when he fought Android 17. Now, Piccolo had never had a fight like for work remembering except for when he fought second form Frieza but that was easily overshadowed when Frieza went to his third form and straight up disrespected him and then his fourth form and disrespected him even more so that kind of shot him down but his fight against Android 17 when Piccolo was at his peak he was stronger than anyone anyone in the entire Dragon Ball Z series at that time I just thought it was mind-blowing and dope but um that's all i can say you guys if you guys enjoy the content you enjoy the video be sure to the like button comment tell me what you think and if you if you're interested in being notified when i post videos hit that little bell right next to the subscribe button and as always it's your boy joker 50 x and we are out until the next one by the way the next one will be humans so yeah stay tuned peace